Mr. Speaker, Britain's economic plan is working. But the job but the job is not done. We need to secure the economy for the long term. And the biggest risk to that comes from those who would abandon the plan. We seek a responsible recovery, one where we don't squander the gains we've made, but go on taking the difficult decisions, one where we don't repeat the mistakes of the past, but this time spot the debt bubbles before they threaten financial stability, a responsible recovery where we don't pretend we can make this nation better off by writing cheques to ourselves and instead make the hard choices. We need a government that lives within its means in a country that pays its way in the world. Three and a half years ago, I set out our long-term economic plan in the emergency budget. That plan restored stability in a fiscal crisis. But it was also designed to address the deep-seated problems of unsustainable spending, uncompetitive taxes and unreformed public services for which there are no quick fixes. And over the last three years, we have stuck to our guns, worked through the plan. We have done so in the face of a sovereign debt crisis abroad and at home in the face of opposition from those who got